Uh, hello out there. <laughs> I've recorded this intro like three times. Ugh. Hey guys, welcome back to Harmony in Hips. So tonight I am bringing you a full face tutorial. Uh, I'm doing a brown, dark brown smoky eye and I use the Tardius Pro Palette to create this look. I wanted to do something really fall and sultry. I really love the glow that I have going on right now. I'm just a glow girl period so yeah guys thank you for watching this video um i'm not going to chat any longer again i don't know what this video is going to be if it's going to be a voiceover or if it's just going to be music or if it's just going to be me chatting with you guys um and things like that so we're just going to jump right into this tutorial so i'm going to take this nyx eyeshadow base in the number three and i'm going to place it all over my eyelid And then I'm going to take this Laura Mercier powder and I'm going to set my eyeshadow base that I just uh, put down. Oh, y'all, I have so much makeup. I need to really get into these videos. Like, I have so much freaking makeup between the VIB sale and just getting new stuff for the, oh, like the holidays are the worst. Because it's like I have so much makeup and so much stuff I haven't used or barely used. I need to find a way to use them. Okay, so taking my M504 brush. And I really kind of like this brush because I just feel like it distributes the color in my crease. I have a particular way of placing my transition colors. And so I want to do a brown smoky eye. I'll take Whimsy. Or we're going to put that above our crease as our transition color. I'm just starting out from the outside and bringing it in. More so focusing it on the outside. So what are you guys doing for the holidays? My son is the first boy in like 50 years to be born. So it's nothing but we're, I come from a family of women. So I guess God was like, it's time for a change. <laughs> so yeah, so we're going to go home for Thanksgiving um, and we're going to see everybody. And I'm really looking forward to it because mama need a break and she need to get off her leash. I'm going to take drama right there and I'm going to place that right underneath our transition color. I'm going to take Smoked and I'm going to take this M33 and Smoked is this really chocolate brown. I don't know if you all can see that. And I'm going to place that all over my lid. And me personally, I kind of like chocolate. I, I, You know, I take that back. I like all smoky eyes. I think as a makeup beginner, a smoky eye is easy. This is one of the easiest things you can learn because you can use a smoky eye with two colors. You can make a smoky eye with like two colors. I used to think smoky eyes were so difficult to do, but thank God for YouTube. I hope you all are definitely going to have a good holiday. I'm going to try to. I'm going to take this clean M441 and I'm just going to go in between where we place that brown and our transition colors. And I'm just going to blend that out, that line out. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this NYX finishing powder in the color banana and I'm going to place that under my eyebrow arches just to kind of even that color we have. And I'm going to use this M169 brush. I'm going to add a little bit of edgy. Edgy is a really soft brown. And I'm going to use this M441 brush just to kind of help clean that dark brown. And I'm just going to try and keep it on the outside and bring it in like not going past my pupil. I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Setting Spray and I'll spray that all over my face. Y'all see me do this in multiple videos. Y'all know my favorite song right now. My friend actually got me hooked on this song. It's called One Night by Lil Yachty. And Lil Yachty's so ugly. Oh, he's so ugly. But that song is kind of like catchy in a sense. I'm going to cover up my dark spots with the new LA Girl Pro Concealer and Peach. 
Um, and as I stated in my LA Girl tutorial, I really like this uh, concealer. I like it better than the orange. The orange is very bright and it makes my foundation look real orangey. I can blend this out pretty good and you won't even see the pink go through. And then I'm going to take these two foundations. This is the BH Cosmetics Foundation. This is in Mocha and Deep Cocoa. And I'm just going to mix these two. I don't think I probably should mix Deep Cocoa. I look mad orangey. Oh, oh we'll see. Okay, and I'm just going to take the E6 and buff this all in my face. Uh, hopefully that highlighter will lighten me out. Yeah. Uh, I'm so orangey. Uh, I can't believe I did that. Like, I'm running out or running low on my warm honey. So I'm going to mix medium beige with the yellow corrector. And I'm just going to place that um, in my areas that I want highlighted. And then I'm going to take this Real Technique sponge. It is damp. And I'm just going to buff, 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 buff that concealer in. I'm going to use that Laura Mercier powder just to set all the areas I placed that concealer. Now, I haven't used this powder in a while. So we're going to see how this looks because I was for Laura Mercier for the powder. And then I tried it a couple weeks ago and I was like, oh, I got so used to how the the butter, the buttercup powder look from Sasha. So I was like, I don't know. I'm kind of digging the Laura Mercier right now. This E56, now this is a under eye, this is like your under eye powder brush. So we're going to place that NYX shadow, we're going to brush that underneath there. And I really don't like using the brush, but I'm like, uh, I just want to try something different. And then I'm going to go back in with my E6 and just buff all around my edges. One of my favorite part of the process I'm going to take the uh, sorry the LA Girl Face Powder in Toffee and my E41 and just set the rest of my face with that. And this brush tape, honestly, the Morphe brushes pick up a lot of product. Like they pick up a lot of product. Even this little brush here, like it picks up so much product. Uh. Black Radiance Powder in Milk Chocolate, the Soft Focus Powder. And I'm taking my E3 and I'm just going to place that in the hollows of my cheeks. I'm taking this Nude Blush Palette by BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to grab this color and I'm going to add that and to some definition to my cheekbones. The Glide Gel Liner in Very Black. And I'm just going to place this in my waterline. I'm going to take this M169 and I'm going to take Whimsy. Whimsy right here and I'm just going to place that underneath my lash line. So then I'm going to go back in with Smoked. And I'm going to place that underneath my lash line. And you can't be too heavy handed when it comes to makeup. Certain looks, you're going to have to completely start all over again. Okay, so I have on my lashes. We are going to go ahead and do the highlight. So first things first, I'm going to spray my face with that LA Girl Pro again. Just to set what we've done so far. So this is the uh, LA Girl Highlight, the LA Girl Velvet Highlight Stick in Luminous. And so I'm just going to rub my finger on the stick and I'm just going to dab that product on there where I want it. 
it's a cream to powder it's like a cream to powder finish and i'm just gonna place that on the tip of my nose and i'm just going to blend that out okay and then on top of that i'm going to take the la girl strobe light powder in 50 watt and i'm going to take this highlighting brush by morphe this is the if e50 and i'm just going to place that on top of the uh, area where we put that uh highlight stick and for the lips i'm going to use the la girl lip liner in cola and i'm going to use the la girl cream lipstick in a more <music> And this is going to be the finished look, guys.